Dave Barry, Mitch and Ted here on The Buzz. Let's welcome to the show cosmetic surgeon and our close personal friend, Dr. Michael Workman. Hello. Um, you are married to the beautiful Carol, who is also a doctor. Yes. I have a survey here thing that says that 61% of people admit they lie on the first date. Um, you met Carol at medical school <laughs> or before then? In, know. in the emergency room. Really? She walked through the emergency room. I smiled at her. She didn't smile back. Okay, what, but you were what, wearing one of those masks. She couldn't see you. What were you, <laughs> what were you doing in the emergency room? I was charting. What was your, 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 your... I, I was sitting at a desk charting, yeah. and she walked in to do a console over at St. Vincent's. Yeah. And I smiled, and yeah. she didn't smile back. Okay, but she, she saw you. She, she saw didn't me. Feel like she, didn't, you didn't, she didn't. Okay, so what happened then? She was blowing me you, off. Obviously, you didn't give you didn't give up. You're like, she'll be mine. Oh no, no. In fact, I, I was out in my boat with uh, my chief resident. I said, boy, I really want to go out with her. And this guy was just this macho t- your chief resident. And he said, Workman, she's way too much woman for you. Oh, <laughs> I must concur. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and so then I called her up and I said, let's go out in my boat on Saturday. And that's so a I good really, first line and first date. Oh for yeah, a absolutely. Woman. Yeah. And so we went out and she. She calls me Saturday morning and she goes, Mike, I've got an earache. I'm going, oh my no. gosh. From and your I, stupid boat. Well, no, no, no. We did, I didn't even get her out on the oh, boat. Okay. Okay. And Monday morning, I see her on rounds and I said to her, well, how's your earache? And she goes, what earache? Oh, no. <laughs> I knew I had her right then. I knew I had her. Because <laughs> <laughs> most people, that's where. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah, you so, had me at earache. Okay, again, you didn't give up. Just so you asked her out for another date. Yes. And um, what was the first successful date you had? That next date, I went out with my room. We, we double dated with my roommate, and I won't say his name, but he is just... Just making out in the back seat of my boat with on Carol. the Willamette. And Carol's <laughs> up in the... <laughs> no, no, no. And you made the old switcheroo no, while I was no, 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 I'm trying to impress her, this classy woman. And he is just mauling his girlfriend. He was a doctor. You know, he was he was my resident. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. You yeah. doctors. Hmm. A yeah, urologist. And so you guys oh. got together in the front and passed judgment on the people in the back? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. It, it, it yeah. pulled us together. It All pulled right. us together. Absolutely. Very good. Yeah. And how long have you been married? <laughs> 26 years. That's beautiful. Congratulations. Come May 20th. Come and May 20th. she's still way too much woman for you. Way too much. <laughs> oh, she's the best. <laughs> okay, so this is, we're stopping talking about Carol right now because okay. this has nothing to do with her. Um, w- uh, one thing that uh, I think concerns a lot of women and some men is if your body changes because of puberty or weight gain or loss or pregnancy, post-pregnancy, uh, People can sometimes, depending on their skin type, develop stretch marks. Absolutely. We call them stria. Stria. And um, they are very, very, very difficult to get rid of or camouflage or disguise or anything else. What What are some of the things that can help or alleviate or uh, reduce stretch marks when a person has them? Well, not much. Um, stria represent tears in the skin, and oftentimes it's not only the... Uh, the actual stria where the skin is stretched out, but that whole area of skin has lost its elasticity. So that, you know, generally, you know, be it the breast, be it the tummy, that whole area of skin just is really not very stretchy, doesn't doesn't contract anymore. We have what's called a pinch test, whereby we take the skin, pull it out, and let it go back, and we can assess how elastic the skin is. So, getting back to your question... You know, when people- Mitch does that, it just stays. <laughs> like a magic trick. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, so. he's got to push back with chopsticks. <laughs> back in there, <laughs> bro. Oh, but we're working on lasers and a bunch of stuff. Um, uh, but nothing really. There's no works creams, well. lotions, and no, tapes, no. nothing. A lot of no. people think that by tanning, it'll help the area look better, but that actually will weaken the skin further, won't it? Yes, you get actinic damage, um, and tanning is bad for the skin long term. Don't do it. Um, so, what about if you have stretch marks? on your stomach from pregnancy and you elect to have a tummy tuck, which is going to take out some skin anyway, will that conceivably take out some of the skin that has stretch marks on it? Oh, absolutely. And that's, you know, that's what's so ideal about the tummy tuck because if you're stre- any stretch mark from your belly button down will get rid of, okay? We totally just cut them out. Um, some women, you know, they, you know, they tend to get pregnant and most of their growth or their stretch marks was down low. Right. And so, you know, all of their stretch marks are below the belly button. We get rid of all those. I saw a patient today, unfortunately, had stretch marks probably halfway up to her rib cage. Mm. She'd gotten really large and had all 
these stretch marks way up high. So we're not going to be able to remove quite as many of those, but we're, we'll still get a lot of them out. I have a question we've never asked you before, and I can't believe can it. Can you imagine what this can might you be? Can you do a, a tummy tuck on a back? Like, obviously, it's called something else then. Yeah. But, like, what if you have... A back fat activity. Yeah. What yeah. if you have, a like, a flat stomach, but you have, like, rolls of fat on your back? Does that ever happen? And could you just... Could you take that Seems and like you could. slice yeah. it and cut it yeah. and sew it? And would it improve your posture? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since you're right now, stand up straight. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, it won't improve your posture. Well, if you it take improve enough, your posture, it will. It probably will. Yeah, just take a little extra. Yeah. yeah. Like the thing. No, there are... You know, there are circumferential procedures whereby we, um, oftentimes people start having excess skin starting you know, right at the breast, going underneath the armpit into the back. And there are round procedures. And round and round. Yeah, there are circumferential procedures whereby you can ellipse, you know, ellipse that skin out, body cut lift. it out. Yeah, there's a body lift also. Um, and so yeah, the answer is yes. Pretty big time procedure. We primarily reserve that for massive weight loss patients. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> celebrities. No, for pe- you know people who have lost and gained, let's say, a couple of hundred pounds. It's a yeah. major deal. Yeah, it's it's a major deal. God, that must be exciting though, for those people. Yeah. Well, it's not that exciting. And don't call me God. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. He just says things like that. That's why he, he says, says it. No, no, he says it in a cadence that makes you think it's a joke. But then when you look it's back and you think what were the words? It's not actually funny. Except he's laughing. <laughs> okay, I have one more question for okay, you because I, I, I want to know if this is like an urban legend or not. Okay. Is it true that some models or people that forever, for whatever reason, want to have a little waspy waist have a rib removed? Like, I've, is there yes, a superfluous? Because yes. I think that's probably not true. No, it is true. It has been done. Isn't that wow. d- d- foolish? I think most people would say it's the Excessive. risk. It's excessive. The risk outweighs the benefit. Um, if you look at our rib cage, we have 10 regular ribs and we have two floating ribs. And the floating ribs uh, literally are floating and they're down below the 10th rib so that um, you can remove those and it will narrow the waistline. I want my baby back. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure I have back. some baby back yeah. ribs. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. Those you are the baby back ribs. <laughs> you can find out all about Dr. Michael Workman's extensive practice. He is a renowned plastic surgeon in the Pacific Northwest. He's done more um, augmentations than almost anybody He's and he, uh, he he knows his stuff. Just um, and he's wearing polka dot shoes. And look, a, look, oh. at his, look at his beautiful wife, and you'll know that he knows what a perfect woman looks like. <laughs> oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, how Put nice is that? Oh. How nice is that? Yeah. Doctor VR Michael Workman dot com. Thanks, Doc. Right. Thank you.